street's got old now. The street's got old now. The street's got old now. Anyone that can do it. The street's got old now. The street's got old now. The street's got old now. Anyone that do it. Will I live like a king? What's up? What's your name is for the people that never heard of you or never seen before? I'm now Mike. So I'm, I'm here on behalf of Heartfelt Empire Music Group. I'm the CEO, the president. You know, shout out to Lexi Freedom of Sass the fam. And I'm here on behalf of that. Alright, what's the Heartfelt Music Empire Group is? You know, Heartfelt Empire Music Group. That's the, that's the Heartfelt Empire. That's one portion of it. The music group is just the group in itself. Heartfelt means sincere, honest, truthful, and real. That's all it is. I mean, you know, it's just sincerity, raw music. That's all it is. All right. What made you come up with that name in particular? I mean, I'm heartfelt. I base my life around truth, and I stand on the square of truth and sincerity. And truthfulness is, that's all it is with me. That's how I approach life. That's life. That's all, that's all my life about is based around truth, facts, and being sincere. And that's what being a real man entails. So, you know, I'm just here to just give you my heart, and I feel like, you know, when I'm done with my music, I do it, you know, in heartfelt balance, you know, melodies. Everywhere I approach, everything I approach is heartfelt. And I think, you know what I'm saying, when you feel, you give people feeling and emotion, when it's heartfelt and sincere, they feel it, you from the heart. It's therapeutic to me, so, you know what I'm saying, coming up with heartfelt, that was something so therapeutic and so true to me, you know, near to me and so dear to me, to where, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, you know, it's heartfelt. That's the way I express my music, and that's the way I explain my music. You got any artists on, under that? You know, I got Kate Cows for the moment. And I got a few other words, you know what I'm saying? Once they come to the table, you know what I'm saying? We are, we are talking about that, but I got an artist, Kate Cows. You know, good guy. It's a nice, uh, phenomenal individual, and uh, that's why I'm dealing with right now. So. Why do you think all New Orleans artists always get looked over? Because they're selfish. New Orleans artists, I mean, everybody want to be the man. So instead of, instead of them pooling their resources together, they fight against each other. They pull from this angle, that angle, this angle, that angle. And all they gotta do is come together. Like in these other big cities, like how the game was formerly. You see what I'm saying? If they just come together and they pull all their resources and they come together, and I support him, he support me, I support him, then the people see a bigger movement. The industry see a bigger movement, togetherness. And they, they, they get to see all the different kind of talent they got out, you know, down here. And you know what I'm saying? Us working against each other, they never make it. They overlook because they overlook themselves. That's why they overlook. You feel what I'm saying? If they stop overlooking themselves. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. It's a movement. Movement, movement start with movement, so you gotta start the movement. You know what I'm Just take two steps, three steps, you know what I'm saying? You start jogging and you start running. Once you do that, it's a full-blown movement. You get the people involved, that's what it is, man. People won't overlook them. And that's the problem. They gotta understand that. People ain't overlooking us. They know we here. They trying to see us get it together. You gotta be in the right frame of mind if you wanna make it to the top, man. A lot of these dudes ain't in the right frame of mind. They on the wrong level. You gotta reach, you gotta reach us as nice and mentality. To be in this business, business is mentality. You gotta be, you gotta be in the same mentality. You gotta have the right perspective to boost this business. They getting overlooked just because of that. Right. They see us. Wayne out there, you know what I'm saying? All the artists came from you know what I'm saying, New Orleans. They see us. ATL got it because they keep it fluctuating. I'm gonna drop Bobo down the street. Future will get on the track with Juju. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rock gonna get a track with Lil J Bone. They gonna do that. Everybody gonna put they, they gonna, you know what I'm saying? They gonna put their city on. We don't do that down here. It's crab in the bucket. So, you know, even though that's a cliche, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, that's what it is. That's the problem. We not overlook. We're not overbooked because we overlook because we overlook ourselves. Are you doing any live performances recently? Yeah, I've done a live performance in a song called Make It Like You. You know, with, uh, with a partner of mine, you know what I'm saying? A fellow neighbor made uh, mine about the mix, and we got a song called Make It Like You. Him and Freddie Pete, shout out to them, shout out to the movement. You know, so I did some things from a bigger ranking. You know what I'm saying? Max Payne, shout out to those guys, too, man. I like the way we got new things going on. They're keeping it real, they're showing love to the city, bringing people to the city. They're showing real love, man. I mean, Kathy Istanbul, you know what I'm saying? 
I did a couple spots, man. That's, that's it. I got, some, I got a few more shows in the lineup right now. But, you know, we're going to talk about that on later dates. You know what I'm saying? For right now, it's all about getting this music out there. You know what I'm saying? Just poaching the fans, you know what I mean? You know, a grassroots campaign. You know, every day, every day out there and about, you know what I'm saying? Staying consistent, building that brand. You know, building the brand, you got to stay consistent. So, you know, you build that brand through consistency. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. That's what I plan on doing. That's what it's about right now at the moment. Uh, you got any projects coming up? Like mixtapes or LPs, EPs? I mean, I got the Crescent City Connect. That's what be coming out, but you know, you know what I'm saying? You got a main situation with it, so that's coming. So, I mean, you know, hosted by DJ Hector. Hopefully everything go right with the paperwork with everybody. Everything go right with that, you know, I'm able to drive that. So that's all the way, I mean, you know, live mixtapes, Spinrella. I mean, uh, my mixtapes, you know, you can, you can find it on that. I mean, it'll be coming soon. Right. I mean, you follow my Instagram, follow my movement, on, follow me Lamont London on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Heartfelt Music, M-U-Z-I-K on Twitter. You'll be able to see that and follow my movement and see what I got going on. Cause I, you know, I'll let you know I dropped the dates. You know, tour dates, you can find me on that. You know what I'm saying? Right now for the moment. All right, you got any collabs you got coming up? Got to see you there some of our DI, BTY, Youngin. Maserati, Knicks, and Freddie P. Any more you got coming up? Yeah, you know, I, got, I got a lot of more to laugh, Shane, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to keep the people, you know what I'm saying, in suspense, but, you know, I'll let you know what I'm saying. I got a, I got a few southerners, good southern people you know, from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying, you know, basically I'm in a local scene, you know what I'm saying, some big names, you know, some I'm working with No Limit, of the past, the past No Limit, you know what I'm saying? I got some, uh, some hot joint about to come out with, produced by DJ Black and Mild. I'm going to produce Black and Mile up no limit to date, you know, as, at the moment. And uh, there's a few more things, you know, I say I like to keep those things under wraps until they, they, just, you know, they come full surface. And once they come full surface, then I give them a little bit more information out of it. You know, as of right now, I got to keep the competition worrying, you know what I'm saying, in suspense as well, so, you know, they know what's up. All right. All right, All right. the bubblegum track, explain what the concept that came from. I was in prison last year with the bubblegum track. You know, we was in there, we was joking around, they was like, uh, man, you can't make a bounce song. But I ended up, you know, I told them, you know, I don't like bounce like bars in that aspect, you know. It's, it was good for the women, it's good for the city, it's an original craft. You know what I'm saying? You know, an original sound that came down from down here in New Orleans. It was crafted from New Orleans, so, you know, you know the songs have always been a part of me. But, you know, I did the bubblegum record because I was thinking about the kids. I was thinking big. You know, I made commercials. Right. All these different aspects. I mean, the bubblegum record is a big record. I mean, next car record, you know, I was thinking strippers, I was thinking party guards, I was thinking kids. And I formulated a beautiful record. Man, man, back in mind, man, he helped. I produced it along with him. He helped me put the finest and touches on it. I mean, it was a beautiful record. I think everybody need to go check that out. Y'all go check that out, man. It's on SoundCloud right now, man. The hell, my, y'all can find it on on YouTube as well. There's a heartfelt Empire Music video. That's my page, my channel. Y'all go check it out, man. I'm gonna go nice record, y'all tag the DJs. DJ Pop, all the DJs around the globe, whoever you gotta tag, you K Slade, whoever you gotta tag, whoever you gotta talk to, just talk about the record, start the conversation, and let them know, man. It's a good record, I think we can be supporting the artists who did a lot of work, put a lot of work into it, my whole team put a lot of work into that record, so you know, y'all get behind it, y'all promote it, y'all be able to and everybody know about it, so thank y'all, man. Right, right, right. So, what's your favorite producers to hook up with? Or oh, you don't have any particular? I mean, at the moment, you know, I like to, you know, I like to hook up with Guru. You know, I like, you know, I like, you know, I like all different kinds of sounds. You know, I'm, I'm culturally diverse. But, you know, I like all different kinds of music, all different genres of music. Mm -hmm. For my master, you know, I mean, the tempo. I mean, you know, it could be Ryan Tedder. You know, it could be anybody. You know, I, even if it don't matter, I just like to get in there and craft my work. Talk about local in particular. The local in particular. I'm working with Street Kings at the moment, you know, Sean Street King, that's who I'm working with. You know, he was saying, he got, he got an extensive resume with you know, Attraction with EG, and some Turk, and you know, some Chat Life, and, and Jim Jones, you know, so you know, I'm working with him at the moment. I mean, uh, Block, I like to work with Block. You know, said Guy named Block, and I love to work with Block, you know, so I like his song, he had a most futuristic song. Guy named Nell, you know, I like to work with him, you know, he's a local producer, a real hot producer, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, that's about it at the moment. Like, you know, I actually see that I like their work. You know, DJ Cool, I gotta shout out Cool, man. Cool, he's a, yeah, he's, he's you know, got crack, all things. So, you know, I like him, that's a low shot to the local game, you know. I work with them. There's a couple, there's a few more of y'all, man, you know. I, I don't wanna miss y'all, you know what I'm saying? But you know, 
you know, I see y'all. If I come in, if I approach y'all, you know, you know, I like to work with y'all as well, but you know. What's your process of writing or re in recording? I mean, my process, I actually do all my own beats myself. You know what I'm saying? My head, you know, my process is different than everybody. You know, I create, I create the whole song before I even put it down. That's some of my best work. It's just hard finding producers who can produce the work when it's coming like that, you know what I'm saying? You know, when it's coming, you know, to learning the keys and pushing the right keys to make that sound come about, the expression come about, when that sound come about, when it's a new sound. Like right now, everybody, you know, they, they digging the future sound. I hear a lot of carbon copies of future. I hear a lot of carbon copies of these people in the game, so my sound is different. It's my own lane, it's my own voice. You know, my own hymns, you know what I'm saying? My own hums, you know, my own harmonies, you know what I mean? So that's what I try to approach with originality, something nobody got, you know what I'm saying? Just try to break open the lane versus me just you know, copycatting or, you know what I'm saying, or mimicking another person or emulating another person's style. So, you know, my sound is different. My, my process of writing, my approach is just to give you something organic, something new, a new feel, a new vibe, something that's heartfelt, something that's from the soul, something that's different. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's just my approach to my writing. You know, I don't want to give them all of the aspect of me writing, but I'm a writer. You know, it's murder he wrote. You know what I'm saying? Writing at the head, I could do it. I prefer not to. I, I like the art, the art of writing music. You know what I'm saying? The, the writing, the written word. Are you got any music videos coming up? Yeah, it's, I'm supposed to be doing all the BTY Young and then make it like you with uh, Maserati Nicks. That's slated to come out. Uh, and a few more other videos with the come out, man. You know, I'm gonna do the streets, got a whole lot of me, and um, I'm saying the bubble gum will be coming soon. There's a few more videos coming out. There's a couple of videos coming out, so y'all stay in tune for that, dude. All right, what kind of mind frame you had with uh, doing that raw DI track? I was like, happy, you know, happy, you know. It was, I was, once again, I went back to jail, and I came home from the first shows, which I left in, uh, when I was 17, I came home at 25 after the murder of Joe's, and uh, I got locked back up for, you know, the guns and that, you know, et cetera. And uh, I felt like, you know, everybody was glad that I was back in prison, you know, so I felt like, you know, the Hayes, they was happy because it seemed as if, you know, I was going to go down for a long time, you know, a lot of years in prison. And I feel like everybody can relate to that, you know what I'm saying? You know, I saw Pharrell live there, you know, he had a song called Happy, but, you know, I made it at the same time. He was making hands, and I didn't know he even had it, but, you know, the track I, I named it Happy because I, I realized the haters were happy for my downfall, my pitfalls, you know what I'm saying? He thought I was going to be gone forever, and I'm here, you see what I'm saying? I made it out, it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a gift from God, you know what I'm saying? Well, for lack of better words, and, you know, the, the Happy track, you know, it was crafted out of me knowing the hatred of other, other people and how they feel, you know, that crab in the bucket syndrome that they have, you know, those snakes, you know what I'm saying, that snakeism and, you know, different, you know, aspects of hate. And it's like, you know, it was crafted out of that, you know, it spawned from that and that's what I gave him, and I gave him my all like that and I put Rod D.I. on it. Fuck with your boy, Rod D.I. Really? Go support my dude right here, man. He's working, bro. Yeah, because I feel like he's been in a situation with, you know, Lil Wayne and, you know what I'm saying, all kind of situations that, you know what I'm saying? You know, we really don't know the intricacies or the, you know what I'm saying, the dynamics behind them, but you know, I you know I felt that he was the perfect person for this record, you know what I'm saying? It's a nice record. Y'all go check that out. Alright. Don't cross, what made you pick BTY on that one? I mean, it's everything, you know what I'm saying? You know, he got the street music. I mean, he like, you know, he like to do all these little, you know, young soldiers slim, you know, that's like one of his big rappers, so if Slim was alive, he'd be on that. So I gotta give him that, you know. I can't hate, you know, I'm not a hater, so I don't hate on no man. So, you know, he he in the streets, he got street music, and I thought his sound would, you know, relate to what was going on and going across. Right. I already just came home, huh? Yeah, I just came home up with Joe's when I was locked up. You know what I'm saying? I got a five-year Joe's. You know what I'm saying? They broke it down with temp possession. You know what I'm saying? Temp possession. I got caught with the best. SKS, FMP, scales, pills, and legal federal rounds. You know, so I was locked up in there. My old lady, she kind of softened the blow at the time. You know what I'm saying? That's another story for the documentary. We're going to get into that later. Right, right. That was your first joke? No, that was my second joke. Actually, my first joke was I was locked up on the murder charge. The second degree murder, they broke down the manslaughter. So, you know, that's been my life. I mean, my whole life, I've been jokes and incarceration, you know? Like Slim said, what the fuck, incarceration? I've been rich. I've been there. 
All right, what you gotta say for the people who ain't that route that she was in or whatever? What they could do to uh, prevent that from happening to them? I mean, you just gotta, it's like you said, man, positive. I mean, in life, you gotta do it. It's negative and positive. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you gotta know how to balance those things out, balance that scale within your life. I mean, I can't really tell you, you know what I'm saying, as a role model, uh, individual, and be like, all right, you know, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you parents for it. But I can't tell you, you know what I'm saying, deal with positivity, you know what I'm saying, and reach your goals and dreams, you know, do sincerely and just be a, you know, be a man, be a person. You know what I'm saying, don't be evil, you know what I'm saying, you know, like, you know, God, you know, God put us here, and he gave us a moral compass called a fifth of us. You know what I'm saying, you just, just heed to your moral compass. And if you do that, man, I think you'll be better in life. I mean, I don't think you're gonna go down that path because in the prison cell, man, nobody there for you. The emotion that you're going through, the, 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 the trauma that you're going through, nobody's there. You know, I lost a mother when I was in jail. I, my brother was killed when I was in jail. You know what I'm saying? So many different aspects of my life was ruined from that. My whole hood, they went away the cops and the homes fans came to my whole hood. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, everything was bad. So being in prison, it takes you away from society, it takes you away from love, away from family, all these different aspects. I don't think you want to go there, man. Just, you know, get your job, live life, do whatever you got to do to be a man, be a man. That's all you got to do. And for you women as well, you know, so y'all be women. Right. That's what's down. Did jail change your music? I mean, my music is my reality. So my music, my music would always be my reality. That's just me, period. But for jail changing my music, it may have helped me hone my craft a little better and you know, make me a better artist, maybe you know, with with words, figurative language, and these aspects of writing. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, to tap into the emotions that you know, I was never able to touch on. You feel what I'm at? And taught me how to smile on the different, approach on the different. So, you know, in that aspect, yeah, Jeff, Jeff kind of you know, advanced me and then took me to the next level. Right. All right, what's your thing you got to do to take your music to the next level? Like, to get in the, get your foot in the door with other people who can put you in the place that you need to be? I mean, my music already next level. I mean, you just gotta get it to the right ears. I mean, I really, I really don't care about, you know, care to the balls and to that, because, you know, when you're dealing with this, it is a business. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you gotta do strategic planning. I will give them the game, but I can't give them the game right now until it's done. When I accomplish it, then I can maybe sit down and we might be having to talk about how the process. But I refuse to let them know the process because, you know, they don't know what's going on. I know. I know the process it takes. I know the time, the effort. And you feel what I'm saying? I know how to build the brand. And a lot of a lot of local guys and a lot of competition of people around us don't know. So you know, I, I know they're gonna be watching. So I'm not gonna give them that. I'm not gonna give them the, that benefit. You know what I'm saying? That's for me. Games to be sold, not to be told. By the record, by the album, whatever I drop, you know, support. You get it, I give you the game. You pay for it. All right, any shoutouts you wanna do? I shout out anybody and anybody and everybody to support my movement, support what I got going on. You know I'm saying anybody who support hip hop, support music, and support the movement. I shout out to all y'all, man. Y'all know y'all whoever follows that, you know what I'm saying, that, that bracket. You know I fuck with you. If you fuck with me, you ain't, you ain't even got a question, man. Shout out. Just know you're a part of it. I'm just trying to make it like you. I'm just trying to make it like you.